Hey, Mrs. Zimmerman. Uh, the book I wanted to talk about right now is Love, Hate, and Other Filters. And I read this book over the summer and loved it. Um, it was super good. Couldn't put it down. And then as I was picking it up, do you ever get it where you just like don't remember that? Like, I love this book. I don't remember much about it. So I was kind of trying to refresh my mem memory about it before I did the book talk. So um, really good book. It's about this girl named Maya. Um, and when I saw the cover and um, the title and um, the story a little bit too made me think of The Hate You Give. So if you've read that one, um, you might consider um, this book. And I think that that might be my next student book club in November. It might be The Hate You Give. The movie's coming out or maybe it's out already October, whatever. Anyways, so Maya is 17 and she's feeling like she's living between two worlds. There's like the world that her parents have um, where they're hoping she will attend college close to home. She's um, going to hopefully they want her to marry like an older Muslim boy that her parents deem suitable. Uh, and so she's trying to live in that world and then um, the other world. And so she says, Maya says, like, there's the good Indian daughter. And then there's the daughter, like, that's defining who she really wants to be. And so um, she re would really like to go to New York City. Um, and she would like to be able to marry who she wants to marry and date who she wants to. She wants to go to film school. Um, and then there's a crime that happens. Um, and then people in her neighborhood start treating her differently. And there's a lot of hatred um, and bigotry that's happening. And so Maya just kind of needs to figure things out. Um, there's a lot going on. So um, sensitive topics. I'm trying to remember if there's what might be some of the sensitive topics. Um, so I don't think there's any swear words, but um, there is that sexual content. Um, but yeah, and then there's some violence, and I think that might be the big two. So, um, I just wanted to read you a little spot part, um, and it's starting off with her mom talking, and it says, she, mom, sniffs, I just wanted to ask if Kareem called you today. Mom, can't a mother ask a simple question? Not if it's a nosy one. I already told you everything anyways. Dinner was nice. He was nice. And that's it. End of story. We didn't secretly get engaged or anything. My mom tilts her head to the ceiling and raises her hands to prayer position. This is her being sarcastic, but also totally serious. I don't want you to end up alone. I'm in high school, mom. In the 21st century. I don't have to get married by the time I'm 22 or risk becoming an old maid. Ayurveda, who is saying anything about marriage? We want you to finish your studies. But I was married when I was only a few years older than you. Classic mom. I'm not saying you should follow my precise example, but of course I really am. I have to laugh. And you had a love marriage that dad's parents didn't exactly approve of, right? She gives me a sharp look. Listen to you. We raised you with too much American independence. Talking back to your elders and all this privacy business. Who needs privacy from their parents? So that's just a little part of this book. So if you're interested, come to my room 254 and check it out.